Hey guys, it's Liz from Blue and Hazel and um, today's video I'm going to do a flip through of Math with Confidence Level 2 by Kate Snow. So this just came out um, in June and next June there should be a level 3 and the June after that level 4 all the way up through 6th grade. So uh, we're using this with my second grader and my kindergartner is using the level K. When we used the first grade level last year uh, we really liked it and so I'm just kind of continuing on with that. My oldest son is too old for Math with Confidence. They don't have his level, and so he's using um, Singapore Primary 2022. The only bummer thing for us about using two curriculums is that it just, on my end, it takes a little bit more figuring out. I feel like switching teaching styles, um, even though there are a lot of similar things and overlaps that I've noticed too, especially the way that they present addition and subtraction facts. When you buy it, this is what you get for the whole year. So two books, you get a um, student guide, which is thinner than the instructor's guide. You might wanna think twice before um, buying the PDF version of especially the instructor's guide because it's huge. It's fairly inexpensive. Like I got these for $35 from Rainbow Resource on sale, but even at full price, it's a pretty good deal at 55 and you can also get them on Amazon. So I will link that down below for you if you wanna check it out. This is a hands-on teaching math program. This is not going to be a program where you can just hand them the workbook and say, here, learn it, here's the worksheet. But yeah, if you're looking for just like, um, you know, you want them, your kid to do all of it on their own, that's probably not going to be Math with Confidence. Um, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more homeschool videos. Let's go ahead and take a look inside so you can see what you are buying. Okay, so here you'll see we have the student workbook and we have the instructor's guide. So student workbook is all in color, the instructor's guide, black and white. So level two has 14 units here and you can see your, what you'll be covering. Addition, facts, word problems, numbers to 200. Um, I'll put this up for you subtraction facts, graphs, mental addition to 100 time, mental subtraction to 100 length. Then within each unit, it's divided into weeks. My plan after I do this video actually is to rip out a week at a time and put it into their homeschool binder so they know, hey, I have to finish this this week. Um, I'll put a link in the description for you with how we do our binders. First off, I wanna show you the games. The instructions for the game, sadly, are in this giant book on the lesson that the game appears. And so if you wanted to go play it again, you would not know where it came from, or you'd have to go back here and flip through and find it and be a total hassle. So um, that's a flaw I see in the design of this. I wish the instructions came on this sheet. What I'm gonna do, someone else mentioned, was I'm gonna take out the game and then I'm going to make a photocopy of the instructions when we get to it and go ahead and put it in like a plastic um, or a plastic thing or go ahead and laminate it. So the game will be on the front, directions will be on the back, and then I'll probably just put them in my kid's homeschool binder. So we've got this one, addition, climb and slide. I saw addition, crash. And these are just fun ways to kind of practice addition and subtraction. The rules are a little different for each game. They're really appealing as far as they look fun, colorful, subtraction race, treasure hunt, uh, four in a row, dice sums, four in a row, subtract um, from multiples of 10, four in a row, two digit subtraction, so you start to see kind of the style of it. Polygon four in a row, fraction bomb. One thing that I wanted to note was that each day you do a front and a back. So for example, let's get to lesson 5.1. And what you'll see is that we would play this game and then they would do the back. So that would be a front and a back. Then the next day we have Lesson 5.2, and the A just stands for um, the new material that you've practiced. And then um, 5.2B stands for review. 
So there'll be an A page, which is new material, and a B page, which is review. And that just follows through the whole entire book. So this would be 5.3, and then review. The next day would be your fourth day of the week, and you would have 5.4, and then review. There's a fifth day in the instructor's guide with suggestions for review, but the actual student workbook is chunked into four day week. Now, one of the questions that I have um, been asked is if math facts that stick and subtraction facts that stick are necessary if you use the Math with Confidence program. And uh, we have addition facts that stick and subtraction facts that stick mainly because I got it before we used this curriculum, but um, I actually like having them separate so that I can just, you know, um, refresh if we need to say, I think that we're gonna need to do that after the summer. So I've noticed a definite regression in their memory of addition facts, but you actually don't need to buy that book at all because all of those games are the types of games that I saw in first grade math with confidence. And then second grade math with confidence, I think has a similar, um, similar type games, but the numbers go up higher. So if you have the first grade level, you definitely don't need math facts that stick. Fractions. Um, and just for reference, Kate Snow has referred to this curriculum herself as being pretty spot on with grade level. And she's also called this a middle of the road program. And so you're not going to find necessarily the same advanced problem solving technique um, or as many word problems or whatever as we are seeing in Singapore math with my oldest son. And so that's another kind of question I have of if we wanna to switch to all be on Singapore, um, Singapore primary, but I also just love the way this is presented so much. Um, this is kind of fun at the end, you get a certificate. I also love that the way she teaches addition and subtraction is so clear and easy to understand. And it's the exact same way that I found Singapore taught it, which is um, using 10 frames and visuals and making sets of fives and tens to figure out mental math. So um, I was really pleased that their, their methods are quite similar. This one is just gonna be a little bit lighter. Now let's go ahead and look in the instructor guide. Um, and we don't always do everything in here. So you'll see um, it's divided into units just like the other ones and it's divided into weeks. One thing you can do if you want to is make a copy of this page and put it in your homeschool records. That might be a good thing to do. This curriculum is cheap and part of that is because it doesn't come with any manipulatives. You'll have to get a few things yourself. I invested this year in something that has already like been gold to me and it's by learning resources. I'll link this in the description for you but doesn't fit in here super well, but it's a board that's nice and sturdy and it's got your ones, tens, hundreds, and a thousands column. And um, we can use it to add two numbers together with the answer on the bottom. So it also came with these pieces, ones, tens, and hundreds, and then a thousands cube. Say we were adding, you know, 11, that would be 11 plus one, then they could get their marker here, their um, dry erase marker, and you would write 12. And so they can visually just see, you know, the, adding the ones column, adding the tens column, and this is gonna be used all the time. We've used other manipulatives like beans and bags, master books had us do that, and that was fine, but it was just not as visually as perfect as this was and easy and, um, it was cheap, but this is just to me way better. You'll also use all the time. You'll use a deck of cards. So definitely get a deck of cards and um, probably a pack of index cards because you're going to make your own um, set of numbers with index cards. So what you see in the instructor's guide pretty much every time you're going to see a warm up. You'll have some activities and let me hold this up for you and you will do workbook time, which is 
independent. They do this on their own. The warm up is pretty much optional. We skip this. If there's anything in there that I'm like positive she's solid on, we skip it because that saves time for me. And then if there's something I think she needs review on, we'll do it. The activities is going to be all of your games. That'll be your um, blocks if you need to use those. Just you showing your child what it says to do to learn the lesson. I don't necessarily wanna like get up mid lesson and go grab my wallet and go grab some coins and go grab this. So you might take just five minutes before calling your kid over and see if there's anything that you need to grab because, oh, it's so frustrating when you're like just sat down to be like, oh man, I gotta go get my coins. Um, so just take a peek, I would recommend that. So you can see the layout is gonna have the warm up. Then you will have an activity. So it looks like here we're reviewing place value. Um, in the last lesson, you made base 10 block designs and found the value of the blocks in your designs. Today, we will use the 10 base blocks to review place value. Um, if you don't wanna say the scripted words in bold, you can say it your own way. A lot of people do that. If you don't know how to swap up the words or you wanna say it, then anything that the parent is supposed to say is in bold and um, then it tells you what to do in the non-bold. So I will show you the resources back here. You can make copies of any of these puzzle pieces, um, hundreds chart. Here's your thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. Um, so you can use what she has back here, number line, part part total match that gets used a lot and then these 10 frames get used a lot so I would go ahead and either laminate these pages or um, make copies of them and stick them in a binder because you don't want to have to grab them in mid lesson from the back and then you would go ahead and do the lesson so it tells you let's use the place value chart to help write the number 72 and then it says place the seven rods in the tens place and the two units in the ones place. So it tells you exactly what to do. Um, and then you would say there are seven tens, so I write seven in the tens place. So there's just no guesswork. You can kind of follow it down, know exactly what to say, and look at all these nice pictures. Like the, the um, instructor's guide is just full of that. Then you can see here's a game. Um, that it has you play during the lesson, activity, play, race to 100, and here's the instructions. So this is what I was saying. I would go ahead and take out the pretty game from the lesson that you're in. So my plan would be to come over and get that game board out and laminate it and put this um, on the back. So you have the game board and directions together if you wanna replay them. And then you're on to the next day. Um, you're gonna follow that same format, the whole book. You also have answer key after every week. So if, you know, as the math gets higher and harder, you can go ahead and look that up. It should be in the back of every week. There's also going to be a book recommendation oftentimes in each um, unit, which is really cool. They're like books that teach math concepts. You can just get them at the library. Here's another example of um, a lesson. You'll have warm up activities and workbook. Next lesson. So you can kind of see here's the next lesson. So that's the instructor's guide. I think at the back of this, there's going to be a congratulations, second grade math with confidence. And so you can maybe like do something special at the end and present this. Overall, Super great curriculum. I am enjoying it so far. Please leave me any questions in the comments and I will go ahead and link um, this in the description for you if you would like to go check it out. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and uh, subscribe for more homeschool videos and we will see you next time.